Hello everyone, and we're back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice, for, um, propane, Anna. From the moment I saw the crime scene, I had a feeling that Matt was the murderer. Matt had, no, had to kill Juan no matter what. And he didn't have an alibi for what he was going... Th and he didn't have an alibi for what he was doing at the time of the murder. My thoughts were confirmed by the evidence, of course. The button and the knife. By Matt's manager, so I had felt that I had had... That I had to protect him. And I can't right. speak I'll English I'll let you know anymore. about the button. Actually, yeah, I think we already found our, uh, you know, fuck up, because <laughs> she has no way of knowing about the button. At um, least why not when she found the damn murder? Like, oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, he lost his button. <laughs> lost his button. This was being the Hakama. I know it. <laughs> the Hakama just—it's like a uh, gravity chamber. It just attracts everything. Hmm, this does account for everything. Well, I am the logical type. And also the bitch type. Finally seeing her true self. She's more nervous than a scared rat. Shut up, Mia. That's, a, that's also stupid. She is more nervous than a scared rabbit. That doesn't even make sense. Rabbits can't be scared. <laughs> I, I, no, it's, it's just a weird way to state it. I don't know, like, it sounds redundant. Isn't that just saying, you know, like, it's, it's more nervous than someone at gunpoint who is scared. It's like, well, yeah, but did you really need to add in the part where they're scared? Isn't that implied? Uh, whatever. If there are no objections, I feel that I can pass a verdict based on... How? What? That doesn't even make sense. What part of this testimony deserves a verdict? But he, he's done. Like, it's like <laughs> 7 a.m. in the morning already now. I guess so. Now then, Mr. Wright, if you please. It's like somehow everything is swung to the opposite end of the scale again for no reason, really. That just means I have to put my weight into this and turn her logic upside down. Thank you, Pie Star. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Turn that happy face into a frown. <laughs> Hold it! Gotta turn that smiley face upside down. Into a frown. Would you say that was your intuition speaking to you? Don't confuse my methods of reasoning with your own. Ugh. You want to prove that someone did something, you need three things. Three things? A motive? Your motive, opportunity, and a reason. Alright, oh, that's a motive. And. Yeah. Evidence, yeah. Fair enough. You yeah, know, I forgot what it's... To be quite frank, I don't even know if what she says here is completely correct. Because if you have decisive evidence, like say you have a picture no, of someone not stabbing in this game, a dude. Well, I know, not in this game. Remember, like, we had this in this game, and we had it in the pony version of this game, that yeah. as long as you don't have a motive given, it doesn't matter if you have the guy, like, on camera shooting him. <laughs> he, if he did have a motive, it's not murder. Yeah, that's pretty dumb like but that. I guess that makes war crimes a lot easier. It's like, well, they mass murdered these people. Wait, did they have a motive? They were insane. That's not a motive. Okay, let's enjoy it. Ah, and if you think these three things... Through, the answer becomes quite clear. Should have already known that, Phoenix. They didn't teach that to us in school. At least not from what I remember. Well, of course not. You didn't go to school, Phoenix. Shut up. <laughs> Can I continue now? No, you you may not. Alright, we nah. have to we have to memorize all those time we have to remember all those times in school that didn't really exist. So, would you say this need came from the press conference? Yes. Do you know why Juan chose that event in that hotel for the conference? Because that was when he could cause the most damage to the public's beloved Matt Engard. Is it? I don't even know if that makes sense. And you knew of this plan, didn't you, Miss Andrews? Oh. Uh -uh. 
Yes. Because <laughs> I was the one who said <laughs> whatever. But I'm sure Mr. Engard himself didn't know anything about a press conference. Oh, really? Can you show me any proof that he didn't know about the press conference? Uh, anyway, the important thing here is that this information was not your testimony. Your testimony. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny. We don't even call them testimonies. They're just testimonies. That's what we should, should call them nowadays. Testimonies. <laughs> Please testimony to us. But <laughs> they lied. It's part of the expectations. Yep. Hold it! Has Mr. Engar done something to hurt or betray you personally? Why do you ask? You were the one who helped Mr. Krita with his press conference. And that event was supposed to bring down Mr. Engard, yet you still helped out. Objection. The person on trial right now is Mr. Engard. Right? We don't logic things around here. <laughs> but the witness was thinking helping the victim with his plan is none of our concern. Even though it would give her a motive, which is one of the three things, but whatever. In any case, this means that the defendant had a motive to kill. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Talk no, I don't know why you why do you keep dealing with these idiots in court, right? I agree. Hold no <clears throat> Hold it But but didn't you already testify earlier that Matt Engard was taking a nap in his room? Are you telling me now that that too was a lie so you could cover for Mr. Engard? Yes. I'm not telling you anything of the sort. When I went to get him for the show, he was honestly sleeping. However, as to whether he was sleeping the entire time, that I cannot say. But he probably committed the murder in his sleep, because that's just something he does. Hmm. Did she go to him? Like, hey, you should wake up. He's like, nah, okay. <laughs> then she walks away and goes to the guy, finds the dead body, he's like, he did the murder! <laughs> That seems like what she did, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm, I keep trying to, but I can find no flaws with what Miss Andrews has said. I can't say the same for some people in this courtroom, however. Judge is glaring straight at Mia. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, get wrecked, Mia, fuck you. Yeah, I, I think he's glaring at you. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's probably glaring at her boobs. Those but are the real eyes. I was like, uh huh. Okay, right. The, the, the boobs do have some inconsistencies. Yeah. Hold it. You can hardly call the knife decisive evidence. The fingerprints on the knife could very well be a clever camouflage. And then. What about the button? The button? It's clear from the crime scene that the victim and the murderer fought. During the fight, the killer ripped the button from the Jam Ninja's costume. You're talking about this button, right? <laughs> Still find it funny how we talk about it like they're just handing it around and stuff. Like, hey, this button, gosh, <laughs> yes, it all over his head. <laughs> yeah, that's good evidence, <laughs> licks it up, and gets it to the next guy. Uh, uh, the next guy just like tries to take a bite of it because he's like, man, this is this is like those new M and M's, right? No, <laughs> this is just bad. It's just good by now. Uh, I would think that makes it very decisive evidence. Okay. It's like you were outfoxed again, Mister Wright. Any anyway, this knife doesn't prove a thing. Please fix your testimony. Can't stand the side of a man who can't gracefully accept his defeat. Goodness me, you can still look at me. An icy stare, yes. I just like you, Mia. <laughs> yeah, I know. What did he even do? It's like... I don't, if I have... If, I, don't, I don't know. What is your problem today? 
Everyone's a bitch. Everyone's being such a bitch in this case. We just want to be nice and make hugs. I think, and I mean, Mia knows that like Maya is like gonna get murdered, but she's like, "Fuck you, Phoenix." <laughs> I'm not gonna support you in this. <laughs> you gotta do it all yourself because fuck you. I don't really want to save my sister. Guess she's kind of getting sick of doing that all the time. Yeah. Hold it! And how do you know that? When the ends of the threads on the button and the costume are matched up, they're found to fit together perfectly, or so I heard. Hmm. That before too, but why would Miss Andrews know about this case down to such a fine detail? Don't look at me like that, just because I'm prepared and you are not? Ah. Uh, I thought I had her this time for sure. If there's anything to trip her up on, it has to be here. But where and what? Is it literally just the button? Hold um, port, wrong button. Hold it! So you have buttons. But what you really did was stab the guy in the back, didn't you? And at the worst possible time. Wish to say she really stabbed the guy in the back as you put it. Put pause over here for a second. Okay. This witness could have disclosed things about Met Esther Engard at any time. Why then would she wait until there was a large audience before doing so? Same reason why Mr. Krita planned such an elaborate conference. Miss Andrews wanted to cause Mr. Engard as much damage as she possibly could. So witness bears ill will toward the defendant. This isn't a Phoenix White Wax Philosophical Power Hour. <laughs> I would a... watch that a lot if you made that. <laughs> I was gonna say, that actually sounds awesome. I wanna watch the Phoenix Wright Power Hour. She's some slander in the witness. I'm in a romantic relationship with her, and it's totally legal in that spot. <laughs> As I expected, Miss Andrews' testimony seems pretty solid. Really? Because to me it sounded a little wishy-washy. Wishy-washy? Well, I hate that guy. Yeah, I know, seriously. Uh, you should know this by now, but you'll need strong, decisive evidence to make her talk. Got it, Chief. I'm going to pin you down this time. <laughs> 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 you pin you down so hard, girl. Damn them ponies. Uh, Alright, so we figured it out. This is the victim's autopsy report. Clearly states that the cause of death was strangulation by a scarf. S strangulation? The knife stab to the victim was done after the victim had already died. And what does that mean? Let's examine this evidence. This button has the victim's blood on it, which would mean that it was ripped off the costume when? After the knife was stabbed into the victim. Okay, that okay. makes sense. Yeah, that makes more sense than what I thought it was. I thought, it, I thought the game's logic was, well, he was strangled, he couldn't struggle, but, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Exactly, which means it is impossible that this button was torn off during the victim's final struggle. Because the victim was strangled to death in that fight. Uh, that's right, Miss Andrews. There's no way this button was ripped off during the struggle. This button was consciously pulled off the victim's already dead body. Order, order, what is the meaning? Objection. What is the meaning of this, Mr. White? And why did I have to write, uh, write the guy for that? <laughs> I don't know. So what if the butt was torn off the body after the victim had already died? What does that change? Let me ask you one simple question, Mr. Edgeworth. Why was the button torn off? What purpose did that serve? What purpose? We now know this button was not torn off during the fight. So the murderer took the time and effort to purposely rip this from the victim's body. 
That would mean that the murderer had something in mind, wouldn't it? Mm. Mr. Wright, does this mean... Does this mean you know what the murderer wanted to do with this button? What was it? <laughs> to have a memento of the crime. So now he got it fired. Yeah. He wanted to have the best memories of the crime. Maybe this was the criminal's first crime, and since it went so well... <laughs> Man, I know, like, the first time- I still have the memento of the first time I killed someone. What, is it your green -ness? Totally. Why? Because this new kid actually was actually a Martian, that's why you're obsessed with green. Exactly, yeah. It was my first murder, it was a Martian. I give the spot to you as a memento. Huh? Why you never set foot in another court of law ever again, as long as you live? Jeez. Oh, I'm okay. Yes. I think hey, it would uh, be best if you stayed away from the attorney's bench. Jeez. I think we're all okay, you. <laughs> Guess you made a joke. We are gonna go to your guy and kill him, too. <laughs> I'm just such an asshole today. Man, I just wanted to have a good time. You guys are like, no, there's no reason to prolong this trial anymore. Which I right, didn't well, even argue though. why that was a bad object, I just kid you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> They're like, oh, what a memento of the crime? That stupid fuck you. <laughs> hey, no, wait, to pin the crime. Yeah, to pin the crime on Engard. Because the other one doesn't even sound that funny. So the one logical reason for doing something like that was to pin the crime on Mr. Engard. There's no way anyone would put the bloody button on their own pants. What? <laughs> That's right, Mr. Engard was set up by the real killer, of course. Goofy. <laughs> yes, Goofy. He's always done it. And the real murder is... Well, Mr. Wright, who in the world is the real killer, then? And Dolan was his assistant. Now we have to say that, too. Finally, I know. I believe I managed to bring this trial all the way up to this point. Phoenix, can't let your guard down yet. Not until the very end. The real killer. The person who planned to frame Mr. Engard is... Wait, why would we do any- like, we've been arguing for this point the whole time, why would we need to prove, like, say which one we mean? Yeah, seriously. Unless the game is gonna pull out a tw I feel like it's gonna pull out a twist, but there's no other character that would make any other- any sense besides Adrian Andrews. Oh, right, maybe it bad. was... Oldbag. Yeah, Or it was Edgeworth. <laughs> Edgeworth is the truest of killers. Take that! Miss Adrian Andrews, I choose you! <laughs> You're Mr. Krita's killer! And my Pokemon! <laughs> what? Man, she was so surprised she broke her glasses again. Can go blind. It's a very grave matter. Do you have any evidence to support your charge? Any evidence? All of the evidence points to Miss Andrews! What? Well, how preposterous! You can't stick any of that on me! I can't, can I? Would you care to test me? Then... Then what about this knife? The knife was used to stab the victim after he had already been strangled to death. It was used to throw suspicion onto Mr. Engard, naturally. A knife covered in the defendant's fingerprints could only be taken from his room. And the only one who had dinner with him, and knew which knife to take, was you! <laughs> Jeez, just freaking all of her glasses. Uh, I almost feel bad, but I don't really. I know losing glasses sucks, but she seems to have infinite. But, what about the button that was found in Mount Hakama? This button was removed from the victim's body after he had already died. The only person who could have done so were the person who found his body or the killer. However, if Mr. Engard was the real killer, 
There is no way he would have put such incriminating evidence in his own Hakama. Ah. <laughs> that was the most like, energetic scream ever. Ah. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Just don't know about him scream. Yeah, I figured it just was fitting. The only person who could have put this button into Mr. Engard's Hakama is the person who went to wake him from his nap, which is you yet again, Miss Andrews. Uh, I see, what about the empty guitar case? It's also another piece of evidence that incriminates Miss Andrews. Oh man. Yeah. She was stripping naked for the dead guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at that. <laughs> Jeez, also, that is one dirty ass mirror. I assume it's just blurry because, you know, game, but. Look how it's blurry the best that otherwise is. Otherwise, you'd be showing her boobs. I and guess. You don't ever do that in this game, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. My costume was used to hide the real killer's identity as they fled the crime scene. Now, who could have known that there was just such a costume inside the guitar case? Could only have been the person who prepared the costume for the victim. And that person is you, Miss Adrian Andrews. N no, I... Objection. Boom. That was the end of the fingerprints were nowhere to be found on the guitar case. And it was you who proved that she was not wearing gloves at the time. But not really, we said that she would have had to take off the gloves just to make fingerprints. Right, exactly. Which, I mean, if she's the killer, isn't that difficult to do? <laughs> it's it just is... if she's not the killer, she would have had no reason to do that. Yeah. That's right. It's because she did not intend on leaving any prints. If one had found out that she had touched the case, they would have asked her why. So we're leaving any prints to use the towel or something else to open it. Um, I mean, but, she didn't have such a problem not saying why when, like, we actually did find out. She just like, we had, we did it, right? Yeah, I know, seriously. Uh, but the glass of tomato juice is a different story. So Andrews purposely left her fingerprints on the glass to show that, yes, indeed, she was the classic day's discoverer of a dead body. Which is dumb, but I mean, it makes sense why this game's logic. Uh, she's doing a lot of screaming. <laughs> and to top it all off, there's this photo. Yeah, we got a lady photo. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> I guess. She, she just gets a lady photo from getting glasses in her eyes. It's a fetish. <laughs> makes sense. Jeez. That's intense. A photo of the killers, they exist. exited the scene of the crime. <laughs> they existed in the scene of the crime. Man, they're OP like that. No reasonable person on earth can believe this Nicholas Samurai is Mr. Engard. Which means that. Old bag is Yeah. He would be much too short for his own costume if it was him. Speaking of how tall people are, Miss Andrews. That's the question. If she made the costume mm. for the guy, why didn't she just make it small, like for herself? But yeah. I mean, the guy would have known beforehand. Yeah, you know that is fair. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think anyone would suspect if she hadn't made it a bit short. But I'm guessing she probably, like, I don't think she even would have made it herself. I'm guessing she just like probably went to the tailor. And, yeah, I mean, she you could know, have said, like, like, made it smaller, no one would have noticed. Yeah. I mean, she could have just been tailored and make it this big. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but I, I, I would, I still think the argument's possible. Like, you know, she'd have no reason to tell the tailor otherwise, because that'd be suspicious. But, you know, if she just went to the tailor for personal requests, like, hey, could you just make a spare costume, because Miss Matt Engard's really fucking clumsy, and I don't want him to mess up his costume and not have a spare. You know, Taylor would probably, like, fine, whatever. Or should said, like, make it a little smaller. Like, she'd be like, well, but it already fits. What the fuck but is they, wrong they, with they, you? I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, it's not like we had any intentions of asking a Taylor about this, so. Yeah, that's She could true. have, like, had one made just for herself, and no one would have asked questions. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's probably true. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you're gonna commit murder and mm -hmm. use a costume to escape from the murder scene, you could at least bother to make the costume <laughs> fit to you. Yeah, yeah, so it's not obvious that it isn't the, the um, person you're framing. Miss Andrews, you're also kind of short in stature, are you not? But Actually, please she's too pretty, she's too tall, like, whatever. Yeah, she was... Uh, I don't know how tall Master Engard is, but yeah, she actually does seem decently tall. Well, how about it, Miss Andrews? Um, we've got her this time. Miss Andrews? I... Yes. I refuse to testify. She's pleading the fifth! <laughs> oh no! She's turning orange. What was that? There's a law. It says I can't be forced to testify about something if it can incriminate me. Exactly. See, she is gone. <laughs> is this where they got that from? I, I, I don't know. Well, yes. You are absolutely correct, Miss Andrews. Law does provide us with a way to avoid self-incrimination. By allowing a witness to not testify... Wait, what? Testify the testimony can cause damage to themselves. What? I agree, I Phoenix, that's stupid. Pleading the fifth is not something most people would think ought to do on the spot. Actually, thinking back to yesterday in Mr. Engard's room. Adrian Andrews. Y yes? Think hard about what? We just discussed. Understood? Uh, alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's when Francisca planted this idea in her head. Are you saying that Francisca had all of this planned out? <laughs> Jesus I doubt she's Christ, she's OP. I, I doubt she had all of this planned out, but I'm pretty sure the implication is Francisca just went up to her and, you know, gave her the normal, like, you know, information stuff, and then she was like, and if, and then she probably told her if you get cornered, just plead the fifth, because... But that means that Francisca knew that she was a killer, and like, like, it makes Francisca uh, amazing. <laughs> you know, actually, I guess she wouldn't have to? I don't know. Just have told Miss Andrews not to testify if things looked bad. You did a good job proving everything up to this point, Phoenix. But there's still one thing you haven't done. Something I, I haven't done? <laughs> I totally win because... <laughs> because... I don't know, because... What's wrong, right? Are you finished already? Why not? Wait, there's no evidence you can provide. She just fucked up. <laughs> exactly. Uh... What is so humorous, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd like to know it myself. I'm sure you realize this as well, Your Honor. But everything the good lawyer he has proven up to this point is meaningless. How is that? This law. So? What? Everything you have proven is circumstantial. Circumstantial? <laughs> it's not circumcised, it's only circumstantial. It makes it pointless. <laughs> Get it. Yes, uh, circumstantial. You have yet to provide a single piece of definitive proof. Which we don't need. Proof <laughs> that Mr. Andrews did in fact have a wish to murder Mr. Karina. Oh, so my nose is big. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Andrews, you... Did you want to kill Mr. Karina? <laughs> Imagine if she just said yes. <laughs> yes, I just was feeling like it, you know. I'm bad with yeah, yeah, breakups. Days, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ba I'm bad with breakups, and the relationship wasn't going too hot. <laughs> uh, he asked me to wear, like, his rival's costume, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> I saw uh, he has this really gay obsession with animals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Miss Andrews, if you do that, it'd be the same as admitting your guilt, don't you think? Maybe so, but, or maybe not. not. <laughs> no, it never, it's never the same in this universe, as much as at this point it really should be the same as admitting her guilt. Besides... You don't even know what crime I would be guilty of due to my son. Yes, we do, Murder. though. Murder? Are, are you... Uh, you're... Vegan, tell me! 
<laughs> yes. No, she's talking. She's taking that defendant at defiant attitude again. Oh, so whatever. Mia, what should we do? What do you mean we've landed in the worst possible situation? I can't Fuck you. you I think we've reached a certain conclusion at this point in time that bitches be crazy and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Spencer's theory that she's the actual murderer has not been fully substantiated with definitive proof. But that's not true. In this situation, there's only one thing this court can do, and that is to declare recess. R recess? Oh my god. So both the prosecution and the defense look further into this matter, and at tomorrow's trial... T tomorrow We don't have a tomorrow. <laughs> if we don't, if we don't say, if we don't do it today, the whole world will be over. This has a timber head. Uh, oh, hold it! it. Oh, please know. wait, Your Honor. That's not necessary. The trial. Please continue the trial. What are you sweating for? It's like he's getting one more day to live, isn't he? Jeez. He's like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> like I, I just imagine the moment, he's like, oh, he's good. I just put out the shotgun. Like, Boom! <laughs> Probably so. Uh, I've I done was... this in years. <laughs> I actually assumed something much more swag. I assumed he just, like, you know, pulled a uh, handgun out of his coat and just shot the, you know, guilty party in the head. That's worse than shotgun. That's most right than a shotgun. Well, I mean, shotguns are pretty swag, but you know, like I imagine Edgeworth to be more of a mini nuke guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a mini nuke, whatever. It's close enough to a handgun. That that's not. <clears throat> that's not it. This isn't about that. Edgeworth, I know. I know you know who the real killer is. Please, let the trial continue. If I don't get the verdict, then Maya. Da, 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 da. Who's Maya? Like, I just didn't even know who Maya is. Like, what? <laughs> but it's impossible to continue as long as the witness refuses to testify. Now then, this court is. Objection! It's not impossible for this try to continue. For oh, I am God. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you? Miss <laughs> Andrews holds the right against self-incarnation. However, it's a topic of conversation where to something unrelated to the cover conversation where something unrelated to whatever she may be guilty of, then she has no idea with her testimony. <laughs> so let's talk about her oranges. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about boobs. She won't be able to, you know, she's not guilty of that. Yes, that is very true, but... So I guess we're gonna talk about the past suicide thing. Actually, says so. one day this thing that I'm curious about... Miss Andrews. When you found the victim's dead body, you poured yourself a glass of juice. Y yes and... I can't help but think how unnatural that is. Usually, when one finds a body, they're shaken up, not staying a glass of juice. <laughs> Wait, I get so it. that was okay up to this point? I know! <laughs> Seriously, no one pushed up till this point until Edgeworth fucking brings it up, and then they're like, oh. So my actions were unusual, but I've already. Before you speak, I want to say that if you have a reason behind your actions, I would like you to testify to that effect. Testify? I would like to request that testifies again about Jews. <laughs> so as as to what happened when she first discovered the victim's body. Whatever we find out in the testimony should be in no way implicate the witness. Alright. That sounds really pointless, but I'm sure it'll help thanks, Edgeworth. <laughs> it's like how we can't do that, by the way. I know, seriously, we can't just be like, oh, I'll ask the witness about juice, go. No, we it like, the thanks, the thanks that's worse for, like, not doing that when God was fucking us. 
I mean, we both knew God was in like yeah. evil, but we did, but he's like, oh, well, I can't have you. Yeah, seriously, what a dick. Edgeworth is just terrible all over. He really, he he should get a new job. Hmm. I would like to see Edgeworth the Baker. I don't know what it is about Edgeworth today, but I can't get a good read off of him. I don't. My skin I. That's a showing blanks. <laughs> Uh, is he a friend or foe? I just don't know. I can't even tell if his power level is over or under 9,000. That's how fucked up the scanner is. Yeah, that is always over 9,000. Yeah, it's pretty much always over 9,000. Alright. So, I guess we will read into the glass of juice next time. I really didn't put it. So. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I mean, just seeing that already confuses me. <laughs> yeah. No, I bought it for the dead guy. <laughs> I wanted to make sure he had his, like, last dying request. He had the orange juice. Because he, he always told me if I could have one last drink, it would be tomato juice. That's why I wanted to pick up with him. Yeah. That's reasonable. Fuck tomato juice.